old drown flies out the top, the new one moves up, and you repeat the process. Now, this firearm holds five rounds in an internal magazine. So all five rounds sit in there quite nicely. Uh, the British equivalent, the short magazine, the Enfield, was used in the First and the Second World War, that holds ten rounds. So the, the Germans actually have half the amount of ammo in their firearm as the British counterpart. As far as rate of fire is concerned, you can fire off somewhere between 12 and 15 aimed shots a minute, which doesn't sound like a lot today, but for a weapon like this is relatively average. And as far as your accurate range is concerned with this firearm, you can hit a target at around 6 to 700 yards. Um, the old version, the one that Keith's actually holding, and I'll be holding slightly later on, you can hit a target accurately at up to 1,000 yards. So the first World War version is never so slightly better. Uh, not only would you have a firearm during this time, but you'd have a bayonet. A bayonet is a small dagger, or a small sword, or a spike that fixes them to the end of your, uh, end of your firearm. Even during an age of high-powered, accurate weapons and machine guns, hand-to-hand -hand combat was still expected. And often it comes down to young men beating each other with the back end of their firearm <coughs> or the sharp end of a bayonet. Yeah, <laughs> 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 